Hi everybody, welcome to a very, very, very beginner violin lesson. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the very, very, very first songs that you should ever learn on the violin. These are what I learned in my first couple of weeks playing the violin a long, long time ago. And they are commonly used by teachers to this very day. As the title says, they are variations on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And the first part of today's lesson is going to be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, the traditional way. The second part of the lesson is going to be, as the title states, the variations of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. These variations are meant to teach you different ways of using the bow and getting your left hand and your right hand conjoined in your brain so they work together fluidly. Like I said before, this is an uber beginner lesson right now, but I hope it makes the practicing of some of you very beginners who might be having some trouble with the covers I've been putting out and the vibrato and all that, all those people who aren't ready for those kind of things yet. I hope this helps you appreciate the sounds and the movements that come along with learning the violin for the first time. So to start off, there are four strings on the violin. You have the E string, the A string, the D string, and the G string. Now, those should all be in tune. I'm going to actually link a video below that has the proper tuning for your violin. And all you have to do is, with a lot of patience and a lot of practice, get your violin strings as close to the sounds that are on that video, okay? It's gonna take some time, you gotta mess with the pegs, and if you have um, fine tuners, you can use those too. It's pretty difficult, but don't give up. You will be able to get it in tune. It just might take a little bit of effort. So, number one, make sure your violin is in tune. To start playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we're gonna be on the A string, the second string right here. You're gonna put your fingers down here like that, and you're gonna put your bow flat on the string, and you want the bow to be right between the bridge and the fingerboard. The bow should be flat. You should have a good bow hold. Check out my video on bow hold if you haven't and you have questions about that. And you're gonna start with two open, open means no fingers on the strings, an open note, an open string. You're gonna start with two open A's. So, bow on the A string, and you're gonna play that twice. I make it sound really good, because I've been playing for a long time, but you probably just might have heard yourself go, and that's okay. Don't panic, your violin is fine, you just need to practice more, and that's good, because practicing is fun. After those two open A strings, it's going to be an open E string. Twice. Now, the way that I teach beginners is not by letter note names. So, so I'm not gonna tell you it's A, A, E, E, F, F, E. What I'm gonna tell you is that it's open A, open A, open E, open E, one on the E. On the violin, you have four fingers. You have one, your first finger, two, your second finger, three, and four. We're only gonna be using the first three fingers, one, two, and three. The pinky takes time, takes time to strengthen, and that's getting more towards intermediate level mixed with beginner level violin. The next two notes on the violin are going to be a one, on the E, and it sounds like this. Then you go back to a open E, so what you just played sounded and looked like this. Open A, open A, open E, open E, One on the E, your one, your first finger. And then back to open E. 
And that's the first part of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Now the second part to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, you're gonna go over to the A string, and believe it or not, we're not touching the G or the D string at all. We're only doing A and the E string today, just to make it easy and simple. And it's gonna be three on the A twice. Take your third finger off to a two on the A. Take your second finger off to a one on the A. And then an open A. And what you have there is The next part, you're gonna go back over to the E string and play the open E twice. Back to your A string, one, two, three on the A. Down to two fingers on the A string. Down to one finger on the A string. Open A. So now you're gonna to go to an open E and you're gonna play that twice. One, two, three on the A string again. To a two on the A string. One on the A string one time. Back to an open E. Back to the A string. One, two, three on the A. Down to two on the A. Down to one on the A. And what you just played a little faster sounds like this. And that's almost the end of the song. Now we're just gonna repeat the first part again. Open A. Open E. One on the E. Open E again. One, two, three on the A. Two on the A. One on the A. Open A. All together, the song very slow all the way through sounds and looks like this. Starting on the A string twice. Three on the A. Back to open E. Back to three on the A. So now that you have down the traditional version of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, I'm gonna show you the variations. And these variations are going to help you process what I was talking about before, that right hand, left hand connection. These have a lot to do with rhythm and timing. So if you find it difficult, just know it's not you. Your body's just not used to playing in sync with a beat. And by in sync with a beat, you'll know what I mean in a second because what you are about to see is very, very bum, 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 bum. It's very, very rhythmic, almost mathematical. So I'm not gonna go over the fingerings again, but what I am going to do is just show you the different variations that you should be practicing along with the traditional version of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. The notes are exactly what I just showed you for the traditional version of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star but it's the bow that's different. Once you have learned what I just showed you, you can go back and you should have the fingerings down almost by muscle memory at this point, and it should all be about the right hand. So we're gonna start on the A string again, but you're gonna do bump, 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 
Bam. And while that might sound the same, or too similar, trust me, it's very good practice for your right hand and arm. One way to practice this, as I was taught when I was like seven years old, is to say in your head, Mississippi hot dog. This is a very common saying that helps students remember the pattern. It doesn't mean anything besides just some silly little phrase to put in your head. So, Mississippi hot dog. Mississippi hot dog, Mississippi hot dog, Mississippi hot dog. That's never going to get out of your head now, and I'm happy about that. It will help. I actually don't have any wording for it like I did for the last one, but it's going to be bum, 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 bum. The last one I'm going to show you is a bit of a workout, but once you perfect the traditional version, the hot dog version, and the stop stop version I just showed you, you can progress onto this. This is learning how to have a lot of notes at once without stopping, and it also helps you cross strings without hitting other strings. And how this works is that it's eight bowings per note. So. But again, you're going to go much slower. And so on and so forth. These three different variations of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star will help you immensely in all the music that is to come as you progress through your violin beginner career. And the last thing I want to say is that a big question and concern I get from a lot of you guys is that you're hitting the other strings while you practice. And I'm telling you right now, that is very, very common. It's something even I do. You might have even heard it happen in this video from me a few times. It's nothing that ever goes away fully for any violinist, even professionals. It always happens every once in a while and especially happens while you're practicing, okay? So don't feel bad if your sound is scratchy. Don't feel bad if you're playing. That's okay. That's fine, okay? You're gonna learn how to not do that with time, okay? It just takes a lot of slow Concentration. Yeah. There we go. Slow concentration, repetition, it all comes down to you progressing and sounding better. If you guys haven't seen it, I have a video that is how to practice violin correctly. And it might be really helpful to you if you are struggling with sounds and issues that are coming up when you're practicing. And it also shows you how to practice properly. Repetition. That's all I'm going to say. It's all about repetition. It can be a really, really exciting moment when you first open your case and your brand new violin is there and you just want to play something, but you pull it out and it's all squeaky. I hope this video helps you guys in that moment when you get your violin and you pull it out and you have something to work on that's actually learning something and not just... <laughs> Because that's not very fun and it's not very encouraging. Also, if you guys haven't seen my 11 year old video on how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star from when I was a baby, um, I think it was my second video and that thing is dark as budge. You can like barely see my fingers, you can barely see the strings. The camera quality is god 
awful. So, I hope this was a nice makeup for you. I'm not deleting that video, it's gonna stay up just because I like to see how far I've come in my YouTubing. But definitely watch this updated version if you have seen that version because this is a lot better. Please leave me any questions, comments, concerns, all of that stuff down below in the comments section. I love hearing all of your voices. I love hearing your questions and I really wanna know how this video helped you. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video.